Hello and welcome to another tutorial of mastering Arduino from beginner to core advanced. In this tutorial we are going to learn about motor and how to control the motor with the help of Arduino. First of all let's just see the content. Our content is type of motors. Uh, it can next content will be single DC motor, simple DC motor, servo motor then after we are going to talk about stepper motor and in the last net, last three tutorials we are going to learn about the controlling method of the motor and we are be, we will be doing an experiment on controlling the motors. Okay let's just begin our first topic. Uh, uh, before starting type of motors, I want to tell you that about a motor is an electromechanical instrument that takes electrical power as an input and gives out in the form of mechanical power. It There are two types of motor in the world, they are AC motor and DC motor. In Arduino, we are mostly be talking about the DC motors of low voltages. Okay. Let's just start about the DC motors and their types. First of all, the DC motor, it is a simple motor with two wires. You can see here, it has only two wires. Uh, you, if, if you want to change the direction, just change the polarity. One connected to positive and another to negative. And if you want to change the polarity, just reverse the wiring and it will change its direction. Okay, this is a DC motor. Okay, next, what is a stepper motor? Well, first of all, I did. Well, what is the servo motor? A servo motor is a special type of motor that is used to give the values in degrees. It is not made to rotate continuously in 360 degree, while it is meant to rotate for a specified degree. If you set the motor to run at 30 degree, it will get lock itself at 30 degree. It will lock itself at 30 degree. And whenever you try to change the direction of the motor, if the program is running, then it will set back itself to 30 degree. This is very important motor for making toy aeroplanes and red, uh, because this is very important motor for making toy aeroplanes because for the rudders, if you want to set the value for 30 degree and the wind will be causing an another effect uh, to suppress its ground while the motor will turn itself back to 30 degree this way so that it can make the movement of the aeroplane very easy. The third type of motor we are talking is here is a stepper motor. The stepper motor, uh, we the third type of motor we are going to talk here is stepper motor. Stepper motor are of two types. They are unipolar motor or bipolar motor. They are specially mo designed motor that can run on computer commands such as servo motor but they are used for more than 360 degree run. They are used for long run especially in CNC and 3D printers. They can be very high speed motors. They can be very low or very, very basic motor. They have a simple running mechanism which is set as a coil and inside there is a magnet. The magnet is rotated with the changing value of the direction of the each individual coil which causes the motion and each magnetic coil is activated by a pulse while a driver is used to amplify the computer pulse into high voltage pulses for running the motor okay and the last type of motor we are going to talk about is dc motor well they and the last type of motor is brushless DC motor or BLDC motor. Well, a BLDC motor is similar to a stepper motor, but the basic difference between it is a is but a basic difference between it is says that it is a brushless DC motor. Means that the functional effect of the motor is similar to DC motor. The mechanism is similar to a stepper motor, but it is used for very high speed operations such as the rotors of the quadcopters. All the rotors of the quadcopters are only connected by BLDC motor because they are the lightest. They are the most powerful with in terms of speed and they are the most simple type of motion they are the most simple type of motor for high speed operations they can be they are controlled with the help of pulse width modulation and specifically designed drivers you can say that electronic speed controllers in the term of quadcopters they are also connected with microcontroller mostly of 32 bits for controlling their operation okay thank you and have a nice day if you had any question you can ask me or else thanks for watching